Welcome back, everybody, finally, to Dice Psycho. If you haven't already, be sure to check out the previous episodes, though they will not be necessary before watching this episode. This is completely standalone, but it has been a very long time since we have played Dice Psycho, and I am so sorry, but um, the long recordings, these episodes take like two hours long to record, and my editor's computer just couldn't handle it. But now that I've bought him a new computer, he can handle two hours, no problem. So welcome back, finally, to Dice Psycho. It is time to actually get through and complete this game. Today, we will be tackling number two. Girl number two, Dice Roll 2. Let's find out how Dice Roll number two goes. Two. Its power is a hair's breadth stronger than one. Just a bit. Whoa, I went the wrong direction with my volume. A hair's breadth stronger than one. In despair. I tried to forget about the memories of my past life. Oh, I forgot how good this music was. It has been so long. Like, I knew it was good. I knew good music was coming, but I forgot how good Charon presents. Present it again, my man. Let's see it. Die, psycho. Ow, my hand. Okay, she's a lot cuter now than in the title screen. I like her arm sleeves. That girl clutching at a yearning. Ooh, I like that. We do like yearning. Is she ready to get satisfied? I hope so. That's a big ass ring. How do you like even... Even she's looking at it like, damn, this is a big ring. Uh, this is a huge ring. My finger really hurts. <laughs> Sprouting from the depths of misfortune with a one-way ticket to death. Okay, I'm liking her more and more. She's hella cute. She's very cute. Quite pretty, seems like a business type. Oh, we do enjoy the cute little smile. Do enjoy that. She will lead you to ruin. Ah, don't they all? You know how it is with these attractive young ladies. They just keep leading me to ruin because they're insane or something, I don't know. Yandere's, am I right? Can't live with him, can't live without him. Now the die is cast. <sighs> Tearing up a little bit. Ooh, that's just so epic, I love it. Been so long. The second roll, Dice Psycho. Here we go! My name is Medoro. I'm just a normal second year student attending a private high school. Today is the start of a new semester. Oh, wonderful! We love the new semester starting. I miss high school, honestly. I wish I could go back to high school. Y'all are in high school right now, not appreciating it. Appreciate it, okay? Please, appreciate high school and the time you get to spend with your friends. Do it. You'll thank me later. I arrived at school with plenty of time to spare, entered the classroom, took my seat, and began reading the rest of my light novel. Nice. A boy who has lost his memory and offered a drink by... <laughs> I like the callback. A boy who has lost his memory is offered a drink ole by an unfamiliar girl. If you guys don't know the reference, that is of course Mix Ore. It is of course referring to Mix Ore, a fantastic game which I played on the channel. So um, if you would like to see that, click the card above if I remember to put it there. I should, I normally do, but there you go. That's great, I love that callback, that's so great. Oi, can you hear me? You're not just ignoring me, are you? Oh, sorry, I was fantasizing about a much more attractive girl. Yo, you're early, Medoro. Is this your morning super otaku time routine? Yes, yes it is. I should start all my mornings like that. I should take pointers from this guy because apparently we have the same taste. I turned around and there they were. My childhood friends, Nana and Yukimaru. Ah, I love those two. I've missed doing visual novels, not gonna lie to you. This is actually really nice. Like, visual novels are the best. Ah, oh, I love them so much. As homeroom begins, the classroom is silent. It's like watching anime, but being productive with it. It's amazing. So it has begun. Ah, oh, well that just ruined her, didn't it? I thought she was the grown-up type, but a teacher? Come on, ah. Oh. When I looked up, I noticed an unfamiliar woman next to the teacher. Um, but teachers just- I don't do teachers. Teachers is just weird. I don't get that at all. Teachers is so off, as well as like MILFs, mothers, like that- no, what? what? That's not- There are no MILFs, there are no mothers I would like to fuck. Starting from today, we have a new temporary teaching assistant. She'll be observing everyone's classes, so be nice to her. She's hella cute, though. My name is Psycho, and I'll be working in this class as a teacher in training, starting from today. Normally, everyone does whatever they want because their homeroom teacher isn't there. Well, it's understandable that everyone's nervous when a beautiful woman is watching them like this. Whoa. 
Yeah, she's beautiful. All right, she wins. She, yeah, yeah, all right, I buy. Hey you, what's your name? How do I pronounce it? Well, the ho, well, well, the ho class, the ho class, we're in ho class now, was quietly studying. Psycho Sensei spoke to me in a whisper. Oh, she's speaking to me. Huh? It, it's Metaro. Or, my name is Metaro, ma my name is Metaro, ma'am. Mom? I would, I would not say that, I'd just be like, fuck off, frig off, it's, it's Metaro. Flustered for a moment, I gave an honest answer. Ada, ada, oh, ada! <laughs> is that so? I knew it. <laughs> Don't you ara ara me? Listen, I need to talk to you, and I was wondering if you could come down to the staff room at lunchtime? That's highly sus, but okay. Oh? Could it be? A private consultation with the teacher? <laughs> Lunch break. I was in standing front of the staff room. That... I was in standing front of the staff. That doesn't make any sense. I think you mean I was standing in front of the staff room door. Seriously, translators, editors, we need them. This is why I have an editor. He's amazing. He corrects all my mistakes. That's a lie, he leaves them in and makes fun of me, but hey, that's good too. When I fearfully opened the door, the teacher who received me was smiling and waving at me. Mechan? Mechan? Don't you call me Mechan, it's Metaro. Thank you very much. Mechan! That's kind of, I like it, okay, you can keep, you can call me whatever you want. <laughs> it's so good to see you again. <laughs> I'm so happy to meet you. I'm happy to meet you too, this is kind of really weird, but okay. I've been wanting to see you for a long time, Mechan. That's why I came back. Do you remember me? Oh, well this is a completely different turn of events. Okay, I'm interested, I'm listening, I'm on it. It sounds like we're more than just mere acquaintances, it certainly does. Oh, you're Ricana Malifiori, yes! <laughs> that ain't Ricana, that ain't Ricana at all. I kinda wanna say this, it would be funny, but that would be really, really weird, so. Who are you? Well, don't rack your brains too hard about it. We even played together for a bit as kids back in the day, remember? Okay, childhood friend. And now teacher. Not really sure what to do with this. The correct answer is Mechan's future fiance, Psycho Onechan. Oh no, Nechan. Well, that's also kind of weird. <laughs> of course you remember, don't you? You. Oh, you don't remember? F Fiance? What the hell is she talking about? Psycho Onechan. With this name in mind, let's jog my memory once again. Let's let's give it a jog. Come on, memory, think, think. Older girl. All right. Back when I was young, I actually used to uh, like older girls. Older girls was my thing, and now it's girls my age or slightly younger, but not older. I don't really go for older now. It's weird. Nechan, I love you. When I grow up, I'm going to be a teacher, so I'm going to go to Tokyo. Oh, okay. Cool. When I become a teacher, I'll teach you a lot, Mechan. It's goodbye for now, but I'll be back for sure. So remember me, and don't forget me, okay? Promise me. It's a promise. Awesome. I love that so much. Oh. I remembered. Okay, I see her in a new light now. I vibe this story, 100%, let's go. Isn't Psycho the girl whom I used to play with in the neighborhood park when I was in elementary school? I think it was a promise that when she became a teacher in the future, she would come back to teach me, who had bad grades. Hmm, you remembered, didn't you? I'm so glad I'm, I'm back, Mechan. I once again checked her out from head to toe. Very nice. She was cute back then, but now she's an adult? She seems to have gotten more beautiful and ladylike. She's much cuter now, 10 out of 10. Hey, what are you staring at? By any chance, is it here? Your face? Yes. Psycho peevishly pointed at her cleavage. You haven't changed at all, Mechan. You're still the cute, earnest, and shy boy I remember. Onechan is so happy for you. Shy? I ain't shy. I'm just introverted, jeez. Oh. But you're a bit more naughty and lewd now, aren't you? This is so weird. I heard from your homeroom teacher that Mechan is studying hard now. That he's got a good head on his shoulders. All because of you. That's amazing, but it's kind of a shame because that means you can do it without me teaching you now, right? Well, I'm not quite there yet. 
You don't have to be modest. I can tell when you're hiding something. I mean, unless I'm getting 100%, then there's always room to improve, am I right? But yes, if that's the case, how about I give you special lessons in non-academic subjects? How about some private tutoring? I must have lost a few years of my life hearing those words full of hidden meaning, and I returned to the classroom in a daze. Dusk. Everyone's already left school. On the other hand, I was sitting on a bench reading the first, reading the rest of my light novel, waiting for Psycho. Hmm, Mixoray Refrain. I've never heard of it. Wait, Refrain? Nothing. It's literally nothing. It's just Mixoray. I want to talk of Mechan. It's been so long since we last had a talk. Okay, yeah, talking. I like talking. Talking's good. Psycho let me into her car and drove me to her place. Left alone in the living room, I sat down on the large three-seater sofa. I worked up a bit of a sweat today, so I'm going to take a shower. Just give me a moment and I'll be done in a jiffy. Want me to join you? Psycho Sensei served me a cup of tea and then headed for the bathroom. I drank a gulp down my throat. The cool peach flavor spread over my tongue. Ah, uh, yummy? Question mark? I wonder what this is made of. In the midst of silence, the sound of running water in the shower was plainly audible. Wow, it's kind of erotic. Thanks for waiting, Ara Ufufu. The fragrance of shampoo lingered on her damp hair. Oh boy. Did you know the top and bottom of sides of the dye always add up to seven? Yes, I did know that. You know, a long time ago, in some faraway country, two prisoners on death row were making a bet for the chance to escape. Why yes, yes we were, how do you know that? You roll the dice and whoever gets the biggest roll wins. The loser becomes the bait to let the winner escape. Interesting. More callback to the prison scene. What's that about exactly? One was an ordinary single man, the other was a father with a wife and a child waiting home. Which one do you think should win, Mechan? The father. He's got someone to look after, he's got people to protect, um... I want the father to win. Well, I suppose the general opinion is that a life of a family weighs more than a single life. Shouldn't both lives have equal value? Yeah, but... No, I didn't have anything for lunch, did I? Sensei giggled as she put on her apron and headed for the kitchen. Wait, so you're in high school and you didn't have anything for lunch? What are you doing? I mean, I vibe the one meal a day for sure, but you're in high school, you have a lunch time, eat your lunch. I wonder how long it's going to take, if she just started preparing now. I feel like I'm getting sleepy. I'm gonna go lie down for a bit. Sounds good to me, man, sounds good to me. Mechan, I love you. So remember me, and don't forget me, okay? Promise me. It's a promise. Oh snap, it's time to save the game because this could be an end life ending decision. But people change over time. Why would I say that? No, I'll absolutely not forget. No. I don't like that the music is gone. Silence is killing me. Apparently I dozed off for a bit. Good morning. Are you awake? Mechan, you must be tired. But don't worry, you won't have to feel that tired anymore. I picked the wrong thing, didn't I? Oh, the wire wrapped around my neck was gradually tightening. Barely conscious. I desperately struggled to stop Sensei. Sensei, everything that you loved. I'll snatch it all away from you. <laughs> Eventually, my strength left my arms and I faded into unconsciousness. How good was my laugh though? Rate it. Remember me. Don't forget, it's a promise. But people change over time. And I did forget. Oh! Wake up, Mechan. Rise and shine. I pulled myself up to look at the table. Delicious looking dishes were spread out on top of it. Wow. It looks so good, and the aroma is elegant and salivating. Sensei, you're awesome. You're even a great cook. She's a beautiful teacher, she's nice, and she's a good cook. Sensei doesn't have any dishes in front of her. I'm the only one who's silently eating. Don't you want some food too, Sensei? Uh, Sensei's not very hungry, so don't you worry about it. Mechan, I love you. <laughs> Whoa. My chopsticks fell out of my hand from the impact of the sudden confession. Yeah, I'm sure that was a hallucination. It's too shocking to be 3D. <laughs> <laughs> Why 
Well, it's not like she's a two-dimensional girl. Only 2D girls would say something like that. Well, it's not like she hasn't said it before, though. I love you, Mechan. Did you hear me, or are you just ignoring me? She said it again! This person, she actually said it again. It's too much for my poor virgin heart. <laughs> you must be surprised, weren't you? You're so honest with your feelings, it's weird. Says the person who just straight up said I love you, okay. As I was treated to a delicious meal, Sensei and I had a great time talking about the past. The time spent with the Sensei passes by in a blink of an eye. As it's getting late, it's finally time to call it a day. The sky was completely dark and it was no longer the time for children to go out. I get the feeling that I did something horrible as well, actually. She couldn't let me walk by myself at night, so Sensei drove me to a place very close to my house. Our neighborhood park, by any chance? Well, be careful, and don't oversleep tomorrow, because I'd be sad if that was Sensei's fault. I had fun, and I wanted to see her again. It's only a brief separation, but already acting like a couple who can't bear to be apart even for a second. Okay. The body of an unidentified woman was found. Oh, is this another ghost? Am I doing a dead chick again? According to the police, the body's age is unknown. Its height is 165 centimeters. Average, okay. No belongings were found on the body, and it was completely naked. I don't like where this is going. I knew something traumatic happened, I just knew it. Although the corpse was identified as a woman from her physical appearance, her body was damaged beyond recognition. Her head had been cut off and taken away, and her breasts and lower abdomen had been gouged out of her torso. What the hell? The police are currently investigating the identity of the body and the cause of death, suspecting it to be a homicide. Ah, here we go. Under the deep blue starry sky, a woman illuminated by twinkling stars was walking with a girl. And if you don't know, this woman who's walking with the girl, um, the woman is from Menheraflasia, which is really awesome. And it ties them together because this is a sequel, so if you want to check out Men Aeroflasia, I played that too. Click the card above, I'll try and remember to put it there. And look what a beautiful moon. Don't you think it's a perfect night for us to have a secret talk? I wonder which girl it is though. Uh, which woman? I guess so. I can't tell what's on your mind if you don't say anything. Isn't there anything you want to talk about? There's someone I hate so much I want to kill them. Mitchell? You certainly picked a very dangerous topic. I was just jealous at first, that person I respected them. As I went further and further down in despair, that person continued to climb up in life. I feel that, I feel that. The more achievements they got, the more miserable I became. And so you wanted to kill them? Yes. It's not fair. Even though we started from the same place, only they got anything. I couldn't get any results at all. I wanted to be happy too. I wanted to be born and raised in a favorable environment and loving family like them. Wishing for someone else's misfortune doesn't make you happy, you know. Mm -hmm. I know that. Do you really think that person wasn't trying hard as well? But I'm trying my best too. I'm sorry, but there's no guarantee in life that your efforts will be rewarded. Damn! That's hitting a little too hard. I not appreciate how much I felt that. I not appreciate that at all. But I do appreciate where the story is going, let's go! <laughs> While I was reading my light novel, Yukimaru and Nana approached me. Sh shit. I was so engrossed in reading that I didn't even notice them coming up to me. Hey Medoro, you're not busy today, right? Are you coming to the arcade with us? Who'd go out with people like you? Ew. Why, you can't go? What's the matter? Isn't that fine? If anything, it's convenient, I think. I know Nana is fond of Yukimaru, so my presence would only be a hindrance. <laughs> I don't want him around. He can rot in hell for all I care. Thanks, Nana. I came to visit Sensei's house, and I was treated to another delicious meal. From an outsider's viewpoint, they may see it as a forbidden love between a student and a teacher. But it's different. We've always known each other. That is making it easier for me that you're childhood friends, so... Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of which... I've been thinking about it ever since I came to Sensei's house, but something smells sweet. Uh, it's probably her. Oh, it's the flowers! I looked at the corner of the room and noticed a small planter with a blue flower in it. Apparently it's a flower called Rosemary. I better remember that name. Oh, it's already so late. Sensei looked at the clock and said in a lonely voice, If I could, 
I'd stay here forever because I enjoy spending time with Sensei and it makes me feel at ease. You have a day off school tomorrow, so why not leisurely spend some time together? Well, because I still live with my parents and they'll be very suspicious. Hey, how about it? Just for today? Sensei will still want... still wants to talk with Mechan a lot more. Yes, with pleasure, sure. Yay, thanks Mechan. Let's enjoy ourselves a lot tonight. Okay, but not too much, right? As if to tease me, Sensei held out her arms as if waiting for me. Come on, Mechan, just jump in here and I'll give you a big hug. I do like hugs though, okay. It's kinda weird, but alright. So I couldn't resist, so I plunged into her ample bosom. Can we please stop saying ample bosom? Ugh, amazing. She smells so good after a bath. Unable to go against the flow, I nuzzled my face into that spacious cleavage. Your breath is so hot, Mechan. This is kinda weird. Got it. Onei-chan will give you head pats, okay? You can't say that though, yes! Head pats for me! There, there. Mechan's a good boy. Ah, oh, don't say that though, that's kinda weird. Sensei patted my hair like she was scratching a dog's head. Mechan, let's kiss. Whoa! Straight to the point, okay. You know, Sensei wanted to do this with Mechan after coming back here. But... Sensei's face got closer and closer. Will you comfort me? I don't like when they say that, it makes me feel like I'm taking advantage, but... Sensei's lips came. I... What would I actually do in the situation? I'll accept the kiss. I lost my virginity that night. The memories of my childhood are somewhat vague. It's all a blur. Something that fades with the passage of time. Hey, do you remember Mechan? I was on my way home from school when I found an abandoned puppy. You said you were going to keep him, so I brought him home. And your mom got mad at you for it? What happened to that puppy in the end? I don't know. I went over to check it out, but the next day all I saw was a box and it was gone. I wonder, did someone pick it up? Hopefully. Maybe it just wandered off on its own. If it got picked up, I hope its new owner is someone nice. Indeed. I wonder why the puppy's original owner did this. It's the same as killing it. I wonder if they'd throw away human children too. They're living beings all the same. I don't want to think that people could be so quick to abandon a life, but they definitely could, so... Maybe they just want to forget it all. Go somewhere, anywhere else. I had a conversation about this, but um, it does happen. It's, it's normal, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, there, there you go. People do abandon because they just can't handle it. Wow. She is gorgeous. Don't take this the wrong way. Cool your horny mind before I bonk you. But she looks really good without her clothes on. Okay, okay, so don't take- Good morning, Mechan. Did you sleep well? Uh, 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 that's right. Right? I stayed over at Sensei's, didn't I? Then I got into bed with Sensei and finally lost my virginity. What do you mean, finally? You're in high school! Bruh! Do not, you lot, do this. Wait till marriage. At the very least, wait till you're out of high school, but... Okay, then we have... Then we have another sleepover, yeah? I think it's not too much to say that Sensei and I are already like lovers. Well, you did just make love, so yes, that is the definition. Or even like fiancés who moved in together. That is better, I like that. Oh, by the way, I hadn't called my mom to let her know that I was staying at Sensei's house these two times. I checked my phone and I saw that I had received calls not only from mom but from Yukimaru and Nana for some reason. Well, I guess I'll just leave it for later. I highly recommend you check those ones right now before getting in the car with her, please. Sensei and I made small talk to the low rumble of the car's engine. It was a nostalgic, warm dream. Sensei was talking about her dreams for the future. <clears throat> it was a magical night filled with the echoes of fireworks, their light reflecting off Sensei's glasses. I excitedly told my teacher about my dream. Fireworks? Sensei stared blankly ahead. I didn't see any fireworks. Ah! Uh, yeah, that happened, didn't it? Sensei's pretending to be someone else. Presumably the person who was killed, presumably, by Sensei, out of jealousy. Wait, huh? Glasses. I was wondering that the first time! 
Sensei, what happened to your glasses? I was wondering that the first time we saw her. Like, when we just remembered her and she had glasses and I was like, where'd they glow? I guess she just grew out of them or some shit. I don't know, got contacts and made her look better. I don't know. You're not wearing glasses. Oh, but maybe she's wearing contact lenses now, right? That's what I assumed. But now that you've pointed it out, I don't think so. I didn't see you take off your contact lenses or put them on, though. I'm sure she didn't when I wasn't looking. Yeah, I know. It's probably when taking off her feminine hygiene. Well, that says off, not off, but yeah, probably. I mean, why would you- you wouldn't just pull out a contact lens in front of someone you just had sex with for the first time. That would be really, like... I mean, I'm not gonna say it's bad, but... I don't know, not, I mean, I don't know, but like, I don't think that's quite right. <laughs> Does eyesight ever recover? Or does it stay bad forever? I was wondering that too, I mean, this is an anime, but... I've heard of a surgery called LASIK that can restore eyesight. Laser eye surgery, yeah. But I thought I had... But I... But I thought I heard that the success rate was very low. What the hell were you thinking? Pardon? As soon as I entered the classroom, Yukimaru yelled at me in an unusually irritated manner. You'll cause a scene if you yell this loudly. However, it's still early in the morning, so it's just me, Yukimaru, and Nana right now. You didn't come home yesterday, didn't contact anyone, and your phone's battery was dead. Do you know what bigger ruckus you caused? Nana, myself, and your mother were out together looking for you. Why couldn't you at least call me? What the hell do you think you're doing? Don't you know there's been a lot of crazy stuff going on lately? Didn't you hear rumors of a serial killer on the loose? What are the odds that the time Sensei comes back into town, Serial Killer is out and about? <clears throat> ah, so that's the story. Because I didn't call my mom, they thought I might have been involved in an incident and were searching for me. Makes sense. Yeah, you should always text your parents if you're not going to be out. I always did. Always. I mean, if you're not going to be back, not out. But, but tell them so that they don't, like, go calling and go looking for you and shit and call the cops. You never know. People do that. It's not really any of your business, though. Don't just stand there, say something, damn it! Ah! Yukimaru's clenched fist slams into my cheek. No, no, stop it, Yukimaru. This doesn't solve anything. Shut up! Nana, stay out of this. I'm talking to this guy. Hey, what are you getting so worked up for? Chill out! Not slacking at all, Yukimaru forcefully grabbed me by the chest. Doesn't look like he has any intention to stop. And I guess I have no choice. Why is this a game ending event? <clears throat> That's a little concerning. I wouldn't say shut the hell up, I would say enough! Leave me alone. It would be foolish to fight back. Oh, maybe I should fight back. It's probably best to just leave this guy alone. Hey, hey, what's all the fuss about? Hearing the commotion, Psycho came into the classroom. Sen... Say. So I take it you guys were having a fight. My my, what a terrible bruise. Sheesh, such naughty boys. Meteorokun, Yukimarokun, later come to my office. I'll have a talk with each of you, one at a time. Why me? Now don't get all coy with me, Nana-san. Can you tell me what's going on? I've got nothing to say in particular. Just tell the story, jeez. Ada, Nana-san. It's okay, you can leave soon. But if we leave it like this, I won't be able to get the truth of what happened, you know? But, okay, I'll talk. But I don't really have any reason to refuse you. Medoro didn't come home on Saturday, because he didn't call his parents and they couldn't get in touch with him. All hell broke loose. That's why Yukimaru and I went with his mother to look for him. So I spent two nights with her, I think that's what happened. Recently there are incidents with headless corpses, you know! There's a rumor that a serial killer is walking around. You know, right, Sensei? That must have been hard for you. No wonder you're worried. So when you came to school this morning, he was already in your classroom, right? Yeah, can I go now? Yes, thanks a lot. You've been very helpful. After their conversation, Nana quickly stood up from her seat. Why is Nana being so edgy? Ah, that's right, Nana-san. There's one more thing I need to ask you. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Is Nana gonna die? Oh, I don't like that. Yo, Psycho Sensei. Hello, Yukimaru-kun. I believe this is the first time we've spoken in private. Oh, so you heard the details from Nana, right? It's been dangerous recently. It's not safe for a kid to be alone at night. So I'm sure his mother must have been very worried. 
Yeah, so I was super worried too. Yukimaru left the room and I entered in its place. Okay, alright. Why did you do that, Mechan? You shouldn't have hit someone, you understand? I didn't, he hit me. I, I didn't hit anyone. <clears throat> I'll never get mad at you, so you can always confide in Sensei. I might be able to help you, Mechan. Can I come today too? <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate the sentiment, but... I'm sorry, I've got something I have to do tonight. So, why don't we have dinner some other time? I'll be sure to make some time for you. I headed home feeling depressed. When I got home, I'll probably get scolded by my mom. What a pain. <laughs> and there's nothing interesting at home anyway, is there? I'll just hole up in my room and read the rest of my light novels. That's good too. I mean, what else can I do? It's a memory from the distant past. It was a field of sunflowers near my house. When I grow up, I want to be a teacher. When people lose their way, I hope I could help them find their way again. There may come a day when no matter how hard you work to achieve something, it will be for nothing. So sometimes I ask myself, what it is I'm even doing? You know, a long time ago in some faraway country, two prisoners on death row were making a bet for a chance to escape. The whole story again. You roll the dice and whoever gets the biggest roll wins. The loser becomes the bait to let the winner escape. One was an ordinary single man, the other a father with a wife and child waiting at home. Which one do you think should win, Mechan? It was a difficult question for me as a child. How did I answer back then? As a mere human, I think it would be arrogant to pick a side. When did humans become so proud as to be able to put a value on a life? Under the deep blue starry sky, illuminated by twinkling stars, was a girl walking with another girl. Then you must forgive me, since I'm here. Seems so. Well, you, you, making fun of me? You're so cheeky, like a kid. It was her! I was right, Ayame-san, yes! Wow! She's grown up! She's gorgeous. And smiling. It's really good to see her like this. I really liked Ayame-san. She was one of my favorites in uh, Menheraflasia. Is it because you want me to affirm your actions? Because if you get a pat on the back from a cold, cruel me, it'll make you feel better about yourself, right? That wasn't my intention. I'm not going to comfort you. I am, unfortunately, not the kind of person that you seem to think I am. That's Davidal for you. You and that person, I want to curse you both. You poor thing. You're so full of doubt that you can't trust anyone, can you? Go ahead and try it. Curse me to death. I don't care who, but if anyone tries to look down on me, I'll drag them down to the same hell as me. If I'm the only one who's going to be ruined, then it's better for everyone to be unhappy. That being the case, then I guess there's no point in furthering this conversation. No, I am a helper. Tell her your experience. The misfortune you wish on someone else will become the very same misfortune that befalls you. I am a girl real deep. Oh, here we go, final day. But she's grown up, hasn't she? She's really, she's changed. She's the same person, but you can really see her past um, from Menhera Flasia reflected in who she is now, and I really like that a lot. It's been a while since then. Sensei and I became more and more intimately involved. Oh, wholesome, okay. They were fulfilling days like I've never experienced before. I've put my childhood, my childish days behind me. Sexual desire, pleasures of the flesh. I'm in the world of adults now. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Well, aren't you mature? Ever since that day, Yukimaru and Nana stopped coming to school. Visible concern? I guess they... I guess they got scared of angering Sensei or something. And you didn't think to question them or ask them or... But I didn't care about that. Wow, what a great friend. Who cares? Who fucking cares? I don't need anything but Sensei. Other than our mutual love... Nothing else matters, this is kind of cringe, not gonna lie. Having enjoyed the festival, we sat down on a bench to rest. What if she's a changeling? What if the Yukimaru walking out of the room, out of the office, was not Yukimaru at all? Maybe you'll feel a little easier after you talk to me. I'll listen to anything you have to say, you know? I'm a proper teacher after all. Hey. Oh, I see. It's about Yukimaru-kun and Nana-san, right? <clears throat> 
Mechan, you had a flashy fight with Yukimaru come back then, didn't you? I was worried too, so I paid a visit to their places, and both of them seemed fine to me. Why did those two even come to mind at a time like this? I came all the way, I came all this way to have a date with Sensei. Sensei's too kind to everyone. Better to just leave those guys alone. No, no, I think we should go check on them, I think. I think we should. Sensei and I embraced each other while naked on the bed and um, while naked on the bed of a love hotel. Alright. I feel like I'm being consumed by sex ever since I got together with Sensei. And that's not good. That's not the key to a healthy, loving relationship. Come be together with me. I'll definitely make you happy. My head starts to feel fuzzy from our shared body heat. Hey, Mechan, do you like Sensei? Of course. I see. That's good. What part of me do you like? If I don't know, it'll make me quite nervous. Because no matter how much you love me right now... Sensei puts her hand on my cheek. If you knew the real me, you'd hate me. A bad feeling wells up inside me. I had a hunch this person was... I did have a- I KNEW IT! You're not psycho, are you? Yes. Since when have you been aware of this? Quite a while, actually. A pretty long time <laughs> since, like, day two. Sensei moved her mouth strangely as though half-joking. I want you to tell me it's not true. I wanted it to be a lie. How good it would have been if this was a lie. I won't believe it. I can't believe it. Sensei... You're lying, right? Why can't we just be wholesome about this? You already knew, like... Fine. It's true. I've erased Psycho and put myself in her place, though I suppose that is very concerning. It's just that I already knew that that was the case. Um, that it's like, yeah, I know. It's okay. But really, it implies that she killed Psycho. Which is... bad. I put in a lot of blood, sweat, and tears to, to emulate that woman's perfection, you know? Although it was a short time, I was so fulfilled and happy. <laughs> Don't make such a face. It's hard on me too. Even so, will you still think upon me fondly? I thought she was psycho, but, you know, like I said, I had my suspicions and was pretty like, yeah, you're not psycho, are you? Um, but I still love her and I'm still here with her. Do I love her, though? That line before all this... You know, the whole being in bed together and just sex all the time makes me think that there's no love at all. Makes me think that he came to the realization that she wasn't psycho and slowly stopped loving her and is now just here for the sex. I love you, Sensei. Even if Sensei is an imposter and a criminal. Even if she was a vicious murderer who killed Psycho and Echan. Even so, I... With both my arms, I embrace Sensei's body as hard as I can. That look of shock. That's the one. Me-chan. I'm not letting go of this hand again. I've decided. Even if Sensei is the imposter, I don't mind. Thank you for choosing Sensei. <laughs> because the feelings I have for her are real. That's right, that's right. A few years later, Me-chan's child, our child, was born safe and sound. And now I'm taking good care of him. That's the whole cementing I wanted. There we go. He's growing up so fast. He kind of looks like you, Mechan. He's showing interest in books of cute girls in them. I wonder if his personality will be just like yours. Am I still alive? I must be. We just had a kid. Thank you, Mechan. I love her outfit there. Right now, you're... Yeah. I took my baby's hand and walked with away with a smile. I hope she is happy. Oh, that's the bad end! Memorial service for the aborted fetus! Wait, what? thought the baby was okay. Well, that's not a happy end at all. <laughs> Sensei, we can't stay together anymore. Honestly, I just want her to be happy, to be quite frankly honest with you. I couldn't answer Sensei's feelings. Whether I live or die, I want her to be happy. There was no way. I mean, you killed the person I loved. You pretended to be them to get close to me. 
Can you see a cry for help? Come on! It's okay, I understand. Mechan, I know I did something unforgivable. Tomorrow, I'll go to the police to atone for my sins. Not that they will forgive me. So, I have one last favour to ask of you, Mechan. Can you at least stay with me like this until tomorrow morning? Kinda scared for my life, but okay. Unsure of what to do, I nodded and gently took her hand in mine. A single tear fell from her closed eyes. Starting tomorrow, I won't be able to help hold Sensei's hands or touch her body, nor will I be able to hear her voice. We won't see each other, probably never again, forever. Now I'll still visit her. When the morning comes, the two of us will... That's what I thought. Welcome to the world of something- why is that blurred out? What is it meant to say? Is that her name? Does it say that? Zan? I, I think that's just cuts. That's what I thought. Damn, what an ending! Holy crap! It's so good though! I'm so sad! Psycho. It wasn't until I got to college that I met her. She also wanted to be a teacher, just like me. She was both my first rival and friend I had in my whole life. The woman called Psycho was truly perfect. There she is. Kasane. Let's work hard together. We'll definitely become teachers together. So that's her real name, huh? Kasane. She had a keen mind, a great personality, and was loved by everyone. Kasane, if you ever have any problems, be sure to talk to me. I'll definitely help you. She was good with words too, and never got kind like, never got tired of being with me. Kasane? If you're ever in trouble, I'll always reach out my hand to you. She had good grades, a promising future, and she was just perfect in every way. I love you, Kasane. Let's be together forever. She was so close to me that I was always comparing myself to her. That's why I always felt a tinge of a sense of inferiority. She had a boy she loved back in her hometown. She had promised him she would go she would come back as a teacher to teach him properly. She often told me stories about those old times. Kasane, every time I heard her tell one of those stories, I knew that she had been blessed from birth. She was dearly loved by those around her when she was growing up. And that's Kasane. She's beautiful. I would have loved her. For sure. Psycho, you don't understand at all how I feel. She's had it all since she was born. In comparison, I'm... <clears throat> I was born into a poor family and lived a miserable life in a pigsty-like house. I grew up despised by my parents with no one to support or encourage me. That's how I lived my life. By the time I grew up, I didn't have a single ounce of confidence. Sonny. I didn't want to die, but... I didn't know if I wanted to live, either. But I had started to have stupid thoughts. If I could die, I should get it over with quickly. Oh. I'm an ordinary person. I'm not unique in any way. I'm not better than anyone else. Completely average. No, below average. No, below average might be a better way to put it. I wish I had met her sooner. And that there was just a little part of me that wanted to kill you. Deep in my heart, I've always wished for your ruin. I don't want to see Kasane's pained face ruined it. Pained face anymore. You've been through a lot, haven't you? She wanted to be a teacher. She would have made such a good teacher. Because... Because you look down on me like that. At some point I gave up on the idea of becoming a teacher. Kasane, no. No matter what I did, I was always second to her. No, not at all. I would have much preferred to have you as a teacher. Over Psycho. If it's your dream, why don't you chase it by yourself instead of... Why don't you chase it by yourself? 
I'm getting off this stage. Kasane! Leave me alone. After I parted with her, I quit school. I debuted in nightlife work. At first, all I wanted was to make money. Money I needed to survive. Still, I was satisfied because I made enough money just using my body. I received words of gratitude and large sums of money from men. It's against public opinion, but somehow it makes me feel like I've done something productive. Even though I'm like this, even though I'm doing this, I'm making someone somewhere smile, and they need me. And that's a good thing. <laughs> How funny. What a wonderful line of work. I even thought that maybe this is my calling. Maybe finding my worth was easier than I thought. It's so comforting to have someone who affirms you. Kasane. While looking at my fallen self, she said, if this is just to satisfy your need for approval, you better wash yourself off quickly. Psycho is right. But she should not have said it like that. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Why don't you hear this? I have a baby in here. Oh, shit. Is that so? Congratulations. I'm going to become a mother. Isn't that awesome? See? I became an adult faster than you. At last I beat you. I felt so proud. I've never been able to compete with Psycho in even one area, but now I'm first. First. I was elated, but my hopes were prematurely dashed. Along with blood, something precious to me flowed away. It was so sudden, I didn't know what was going on. But just that was enough to break my heart. I cried and cried over the loss of my child. I stood on the precipice of death. Saika returned to her hometown for an educational internship. Everything was going well for her. It's so frustrating. It's so unfair. I'll never recognize you. Kasane, what's the meaning of this? A wire is coiled around Saika's throat. She showed no sign of fear with a calm attitude. I'll kill you! Then go back to your hometown and your place! And then I'm gonna steal the man you love! I want that man to give me back the baby you've got taken from me! That was the bad end. <laughs> so funny! You're an idiot, Kasane. How are you going to replace me? Huh? so hopeless for you. There's no way you can mimic me. What are you saying? Do you really think you can play my role when you're such a failure in life? Don't waste your time uttering that crap. Just go fuck yourself, psycho. <laughs> Don't laugh. I feel relieved when I see the weak. Ah, how great it is that I'm not like them. I've always wanted to see your face wounded and battered, like, miserable and dirty. Shut up! I'm battered and miserable and dirty and this person seems so happy about it. How can she afford to act like this when she's about to get killed? I'm, I'm going to start over, definitely. A woman of the same age born on the same planet with the same dream. We were supposed to be similar. It's just we were born and raised differently. <coughs> What's the difference between us? Why? Why am I the only one who's unhappy? Seeing her face makes me want to kill her. Makes me want to mess up that happiness and destroy it and make her suffer the same things I did. I've always been jealous of you. I've always hated you. That's all. Eventually she stopped moving. A drop of water fell on her cheek. I realized that the water was spilling from my eyes. I made up my mind. I would live on as an imposter in her place. Kasane. That, uh, that hurt. Happy end? Imposter. It's not a happy end.
I wish I could have just stayed with her and had a real happy end. No one had to die. Thank you for playing and thank you guys for watching. Clear password two. Ah, interesting. All right. All right. It's time to go over my thoughts here. Psycho was not good. I did not like Psycho. She was your typical popular wants to be a teacher and teach the kids type. I hate that type. I really, really do. And um, it was shown at the end that she was looking down on Kasane. Um, you know, especially with that laughter and the whole you're so pathetic thing. I did not vibe that. That ending was not okay. The way she died and was all smug about it and talking about how shit... I mean, it's fair enough if someone's killing you, but, like, I don't like her at all, so, you know, not not my love. No, no, no. The real Kasane. The real Kasane, not the fake one. Um, until the very end when she showed her true colours, that's the only time that I actually started to really like her, was when she showed um, who she really was, and I appreciate the genuine, you know? I like the genuine. I love genuine people. Um, I, I don't like fake people, um, but yeah. So, it was very sad that she killed Psycho and what happened with her baby and everything. Um, but that was one hell of an ending. That was really good. And Kuroki Ayano, I know you're watching this. I'm very much looking forward to a drawing of um, Kasane. So, uh, you better you better send that on the Discord. <laughs> um, for those of you who don't know, guys, um, uh, we, have, we have someone on the Discord server, Kuroki Ayano, one of my, one of my long-time subscribers. They leave comments here sometimes as well. And, um, yeah, so they, they've done drawings of all the, uh, um, what, what am I playing? Dice Psycho Girls. They've done, they've done drawings of all the Dice Psycho Girls, so you can check the art channel on that, search from, um, from Kuroki Ayano in the art channel, and you'll find, like, all of their drawings of the Dice Psycho Girls, because they're really good, and I, I'm, I love them. Like, she ruined Kasane's life there. I mean, not really. You can't blame her, but Kasane was moving forward becoming a teacher. If she didn't meet Psycho, maybe she would have, and maybe she could have been happy. Hard to say. I just wish I could have saved her. But, alas, that has been Dice Psycho. Dice roll number two, which means the last one is dice roll number one. Stay tuned for next week. Dice roll number one. Not quite the final episode. we got to get all the endings, and then we got to get the super secret ending, the true ending as well. But, thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Dice Psycho. If you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Rate this out of 10. Did you love Kasane or did you prefer Psycho? Do you think Psycho's final words were fair? Or do you think she should have been a little bit nicer and been a kinder person? Do you think as well, did Psycho know about the inferiority? Was she like gaslighting or p pushing on her and just being um, a manipulative, horrible person the whole time? Or was it just at her death because, you know, she was dying fair enough? But let me know what you think down in the comments. Let me know, was she genuine? Was she not? What do you think about Kasane? All that good stuff. Satisfy me by hitting that subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when the next episode comes out. We do Yandere content every week. So if you enjoy Yandere's, and I know a lot of you do, probably most of y'all watching this love Yandere's, let me sure to stick around. If you made it to this point in the video anyway, then you must like something about it, and this is what our content is about. So, you know, stick around anyway. Subscribe. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. My name has been Sinkara. And until next time, see ya.